In the previous two episodes, we took a look at connecting the blue box to your target via a debug adapter and via an active probe. This time, we're taking another step forward and connecting via converter. The first thing you always need to do is to connect the blue box to the target with the enclosed grounding wire. If the grounding wire is not connected, it could lead to the destruction of your hardware or blue box. Safely connected with everything still powered off, we can continue. There is a wide variety of converters available, so you can match them according to your board. We will show how to use a converter that converts the JTAG pinout to DAP. Now connect the whole assembly to the debug connector of your target. Be careful if your target connector doesn't have a key pin or a key notch. Look for a mark and orient the converter properly. Pin 1 of the converter should be connected to pin 1 of the target connector. You just carefully push them together, like this. Now that you have everything connected, we can finally power on your setup. It is important to turn on your PC first, then the blue box, and lastly the target. When you're ready to power off your setup, follow the same steps, but in reverse. First, you power off your target, then the blue box, and lastly your PC. For more detailed descriptions and additional possibilities, just visit our website where you can find explanations of all the specifics of the converters. And that's all you need to do to safely connect to your target. Thank you for joining us in these tutorials, and see you next time!